Hey YouTube, it's Eric. Uh, this video is going to be pretty quick. Um, I'm just doing some research uh, this afternoon and I just wanted to cover um, just some of the connections to uh, the Jesuits in Iraq. You know, I've, I've talked a lot about the Iraq war and how, how controlled it was from the American side. You, know, you had George Bush uh, refer to the, uh, the war on terror, which the war in Iraq was a part of, as a crusade on September 17th, 2001. You know, the top uh, generals in the U.S. Uh, military that led like the massacres in Fallujah, uh, Joseph Dunford and James Mattis, both Roman Catholics. Dunford was trained by the Jesuits at Georgetown. He's the current uh, chief of staff of the United States military. Uh, but you see here, the, the Jesuits actually had a college in Baghdad. It was secularized, I think, in 1998. Uh, I'll get the exact date, but I found before the university was secularized, like there's tons of prominent, you know, alumni that went to this Jesuit school in Baghdad. And I found, you know, Edmund Walsh, I'll show you, um, Edmund Walsh was uh, teaching at this school in Baghdad, probably one of the most powerful Jesuits, if not the most powerful, uh, I think, Jesuit who wasn't a superior general of the 21st century. Edmund Walsh, SJ. He was a part of this Baghdad college. And uh, I found out here that the Jesuit Robert Francis Taft, SJ, who passed away last year. You might notice the name Taft. That's because uh, it's the same. This guy's related. This Jesuit's related to President William Howard Taft. He was a fellow Huntsman. William Howard Taft was the uh, President Theodore Roosevelt's uh, personal ambassador to the Vatican, personal representative. And um, Theodore Roosevelt had a, uh older cousin, uh, James Roosevelt Bailey, who is a Catholic Archbishop of the Diocese of Newark, New Jersey. But you see here the Jesuit. This was a he, this Robert F. Taft was a powerful Jesuit. You know the Taft, all the basically the whole Taft family uh, ha, was initiated into the Skull and Bones. Alfonso Taft, uh, the Secretary of War in the 1870s, was was one of the founders of the Skull and Bones. I'm pretty sure one of the early members. You see here Robert F. Taft, S.J. A Jesuit related to presidents of the United States, and there's also another one, President James Monroe. Uh, if you watched the brief we did July 5th, I read uh, the document, um, for, and I linked it in the uh, the live chat. The President James Monroe uh, was actually negotiating with uh, Commander De Cibone of the Knights of Malta to get into diplomatic relations between the United States of America and the Knights of Malta. The Knights of Malta get into their own diplomatic relations. If people aren't aware, they have their own ambassadors. They're, they're basically, the Knights of Malta are their own like sovereign uh, nation within the sovereign nation of the Vatican. But, um, Rob, but uh, what was I going to see here? Um, where was this? Baghdad College. And this guy, Robert F. Taft, uh, was, this guy was very, very big in the uh, ecumenical movement. You see, so he taught, uh, he, so this Jesuit here, Robert F. Uh, Taft, taught at Baghdad Jesuit College. You look at that. And then he got his graduate degree in Russian from Fordham University. This guy was a powerful Jesuit. You, actually, I've, you can listen to some some of this guy's uh, lectures are still out on the internet. Um, he was also a professor at the Pontifical Oriental Institute in Rome. But here's pictures, more pictures of the Baghdad College. You see, you're conducted by the American Jesuits. I'm pretty sure Edmund. I'm going to show you Edmund Walsh. Edmund Walsh. <laughs> I got a speeding ticket in New York State a while ago. That's what that was. Um, Baghdad. Okay, I see Edmund Walsh. He actually established the school. Yeah, this is what I thought. Yeah, there, there's Edmund Walsh with General Douglas MacArthur. <laughs> kidding me? But look at this. Edmund Walsh actually worked on the Vatican's behalf to restore, resolve the longstanding issues between church and state in Mexico in 29. And he negotiated with, with Edmund Walsh. <laughs> oh my goodness, this guy is so powerful. Look at this. He negotiated with Edmund Walsh, SJ, negotiated with the Iraqi government to establish an American high school in Baghdad in 1931, the Jesuit Baghdad College. Really, Edmund Walsh, I had a feeling, like I, I didn't know he was the actual like founder. I thought he was just part of the founding. This guy, was, Walsh, was the actual founder of Jesuit Baghdad College. <laughs> okay, so given that, Edmund Walsh, the, the School of Foreign Service named after him at Georgetown has had the most, power, no school has even close to the amount of powerful alumni that have come from 
that the Jesuit Georgetown School of Foreign Service, named the Edmund Walsh School of Foreign Service at uh, Georgetown. And here's four Jesuits there in front of the college. Um, let's see if there's other photos here before I go into. There's the site of the New Baghdad College right there. But if you go into some of the alumni, okay, you see, and you notice this this alumni. This is the pre-nationalization. Okay, so you see, there's pre-nationalization and post-nationalization. So pre-nationalization is all of these guys attended the Baghdad College while it was still a Jesuit school. I'm just going to go through some of them. Like the start here, this guy Ahmad Chalabi, he was the president of the governing council of Iraq. This is when the, that's when the U.S. like suspended the uh, the Iraqi government and created the governing council. The leader was Paul Bremer the American diplomat and actually Paul Blemmer, I found this out before uh, that he was known as the head of the coalition provisional authority in Iraq. He had, he had the brilliant idea of, of disbanding the Iraqi military, put thousands of unemployed men on the street with guns. Great idea, Paul Bremer. Do you think that's going to, you know, b ramp up the Iraqi insurgency? But it was all according to plan. We see here, Louis Paul Bremer, he actually converted to Catholicism in 1994. You can look that up. Um, but you see here, um, <clears throat> Ahmad Chalabi was actually the president of the governing council, and then he was the minister of oil from 2005 to 2006. The, Dick, the Roman Catholic Dick Cheney had shares in the Kellogg, Brown, and Root Company the whole time while he was vice president during the war in Iraq. Roman Catholic Dick Cheney was making millions of dollars off of the blood, sweat, and tears of uh, American soldiers. We're basically being out, going out there to uh, you know get shot at and uh, you know put in you know miserable conditions and uh, for all you know for no reason. Uh, but you see here, uh, Ahmed Chalabi. Look at this, Deputy Prime Minister of Iraq, two thousand five to two thousand six. So th this guy is powerful. Okay, he, like, he was dubbed the George Washington of Iraq. Yeah, the, the George Washington who ghostwrit his rules of uh, civility when he was sixteen years old from a, a French. At, uh, a French Jesuit book on uh, etiquette. Like, are you kidding me? George Washington, who was given a copy of the book Don Quixote from Don Diego de Gardaqui. Don Quixote is a metaphor for the Society of Jesus. <laughs> he looks here. So, but this guy here, interestingly, he was found guilty in a banking scandal case recently. Um, you see here, he led up to the. Uh, in the lead up to the 2003 invasion of Iraq, the Iraqi National Congress with the assistance of lobbying powerhouse BKSH and Associates provided a major por portion of the information on which U.S. intelligence bases condemnation of the Iraqi President Saddam Hussein, including, including the false reports of weapons of mass destruction. And guys, if you know, Osama, Saddam Hussein was also a puppet. I'll show you, I'll show you a picture of that actually uh, at the end of the video. Uh, I'll remember to do that. Saddam Hussein was actually given... Uh, he was knighted into the Catholic Order of Isabella the Catholic, um, Spanish Catholic Order of Isabella the Catholic in 1973. You can actually see a picture of Saddam Hussein with an old Francisco Opus Dei Jesuit puppet Franco um, and a young Knight of Malta, Juan, Juan Carlos of Spain. Um, that's in 1973. So Saddam Hussein was Catholic knighted, so you know, he was a puppet. Um, but you see here, all the you see, so look, Chalabi was one of the main guys fabricating the WMD info. Look, and it's been known as fabrication. So most of all, most if not all of this information that Jesuit trained Ahmed Chalabi gave to U.S. intelligence has been a fabrication. What would you, you look at that? And look, he was educated at Jesuit Baghdad College. Look, his father, a wealthy grain merchant and a member of the Iraqi Parliament, became head of the Senate when King Abdullah was assassinated. That's interesting. And you look at it, Chalabi was the power elite of Baghdad. He was born in the academy in 1944. His family, who dated back 300 years to the Sultat, ran Iraq's oldest commercial bank under the British-backed Kingdom of Iraq. <laughs> okay. So this guy is like the puppet of the highest order. Okay. And actually, you know, there's even on this Wikipedia, it even it talks about how he was very close to all of the, 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 the project of the New American Century, Paul Wolfowitz, close to the Pentagon, all the Catholics in the U.S. military, <laughs> Catholics in the CIA, the two Jesuit trained guys that were in the CIA uh, in the top position during 9-11, that being George Tenet as the di director of the Catholics in Action, went to Georgetown, the deputy director, John O. Brennan, went to Fordham.
There he is with Jesuit trained uh, Donald Rumsfeld and Roman Catholic Paul Bremer. <laughs> Donald Rumsfeld, Secretary of Defense, who actually announced that there's like a trillion dollars missing uh, like the day before 9 11, September 10th. Rumsfeld trained at Georgetown, also like illegally got aspartame pushed through the FDA. Um, so, like, <laughs> he was also close to the secret Catholic uh, Tony Blair. So, like, this. This guy's just an example. It's Ahmad Chalabi. Uh, look at these positions he was in. Super close to the U.S. intelligence. Uh, president of the governing council, minister of oil, deputy prime minister, Jesuit trainer. So that's just one example. Good. Uh, and then we'll go tier to the the politicians. Ab Aldi Abdul Mahdi. He was an Iraqi politician. He's the current prime minister of Iraq. So he's, the Jesuits aren't controlling Iraq. You have the current prime minister trained at B Jesuit Baghdad College. And guys. He, Aldi Abdul Mahdi, this is key. He was trained at the Jesuit College before it was nationalized, so he was still being taught and indoctrinated in his political worldviews by uh, Jesuit priests. Okay, if you see Aldi Abdul, Abdul Mahdi, see, he was also a vice president of Iraq from 2005 to 2011. Um, he formerly served as finance minister of the interim government and he was oil minister from 2016 to 2000. 2014 to 2016. So you have two oil ministers directly educated by the Jesuits. Tell me the Iraq war isn't about oil. Like, come on. <laughs> you see here, he's also a former member of the... And guys, I noticed all of these Jesuit puppets in the Iraqi government are Shia. Okay, uh, the last guy I mentioned here, um, Ahmad Shalabi is also a Shia. Okay, but uh, Ali Abdul Mahdi is the... Uh, for, he's a former member of the Supreme Islamic Iraqi Council, uh, which is the Shia party in Iraq. Um, and he was he was opposing. Uh, let me see here. He, the long base in neighboring Iran. The group opposed uh, the United States. Um, actually, no. Actually, never mind. The actually the, the Jesuits actually usually get behind the Sunnis. I apologize. And the last guy, Ahmed uh, Chalawi, was a, a Sunni. Um, and so actually, that's so that's interesting. So the, and actually, this so this guy. Then the Shias are uh, aligned with Iran. I apologize for my. Of this stuff there, but yeah. So this guy's actually so this guy, this Jesuit trained Abdul Abdul Mahdi, the current Prime Minister of Iraq, would actually it looks like it back Iran in a potential like Sunni Shiite conflict. But yeah, so he was a member of the Supreme Islamic Council. Um, but you see, if you look at his background, current Prime Minister of Iraq went to Jesuit Baghdad College. It even says it an elite American Jesuit school. Would you look at that? <laughs> he was a trained economist. Who left Iraq in 1969 for exile in France? He worked for French think tanks. Are you kidding me? And edited magazines in French and Arabic. He was educated in France, <clears throat> probably by Jesuits in France. <laughs> uh, and is the son of a Shiite cleric who is a minister in Iraq's monarchy. That's interesting. Um, actually, look at this. He was a leading member of Iraqi Communist Party. I'm just going to highlight that. <laughs> okay, actually, and this guy here is a big Jesuit. Oh, no, this is, a, I was thinking a, a different Khomeini. Um, we look at there. Abdul Mahdi was a leading member of the Iraqi Communist Party. Do that, okay. Um, this guy's literally the current prime minister, okay. It says here, he met with Angela Merkel in Berlin, Jesuit up trained Abdul Mahdi. He announced a $14 billion plan to upgrade Iraq's electricity infrastructure with likely cooperation with the German company Siemens. So they're going to outsource, you know, Iraq to foreign corporations. That's been done a long time ago, though. It's just, you know, the, the cherry on top at this point. But the, the, literally, the current prime minister is trained by Jesuits. He's the, he's the current minister of the interior also, prime minister and minister of the interior and the minister of the defense at the same time. So <laughs> this, this guy basically almost, you could say, like has this like semi-monarchial power in Iraq. Okay, he's the former minister of the oil, vice president, minister of finance. Hey, come on. <laughs> okay, but that's the second one I wanted to show you. Um, and actually, just to go to uh, another politician here, Mithal al Alusi, an Iraqi politician and the leader of the Iraqi Uma Party. He was elected to the Iraqi Council of Representatives as an independent uh, in. December 2005 election and was once again elected in the 2014 Iraqi parliamentary election uh, as part of the Civil Democratic Alliance, which is an Iraqi political coalition formed by various liberal and civil figures and his party, one seat, represented by, so he's a one seat party, that's interesting. Um, 
And he was also the head of the Supreme National Debathification Commission. And actually, the Bath Party was the party of Saddam Hussein. So this guy was this Jesuit trained Mathel Al Aluzi was uh, in head of the commission to uh, essentially get rid of the traces of Saddam Hussein uh, in Iraq, which is interesting. And Saddam Hussein, what was like it was Ronald Reagan who actually uh, you know gave Saddam Hussein all this wet. Uh, no, it wasn't Reagan. It was um, I think it goes back to Lyndon Johnson in the sixties. And uh, the U.S. armed the like, Saddam to the teeth in the '60s, and then in Operation Desert Storm, they just decided to turn on him in the Kuwaiti uh, war. Um, let me see here. He called the Jesuit trained Mathal Al Thuzi called for intelligence sharing between Iraq, Israel, the United States, Jordan, Turkey, and Kuwait. Would you know that <laughs> current King of Jordan, Abdullah the Second, is uh, went to Georgetown. Um, yeah, I don't want the video to go on too long, but uh, I linked this, uh, these in the description too, so you can go through this list. Let's just pull the picture of Mathael Al Athuzi. There is right there. He's known as Iraq's Maverick, according to the Huffington Post. <laughs> and he's Jesuit trained. That's probably why the Huffington Post is uh, calling him a Maverick. Yeah, let's say it. Actually, there's a few, and there's been some billionaires that have gone to this Jesuit school. Let's go here to Manir Kader. He's an Iraq. This guy's still alive. Iraqi British businessman and financier of Iraqi Turkmen origin. He's the founding. Uh, he's the founding CEO of Invest Corp. So you have the founder of Invest Corp. Is Jesuit trained. That being Namar Kader, Invest Corp, private equity investment group operating out of New York City, London, Bahrain. After serving 33 years as CEO, <clears throat> he retired in 2015 and became the company's chairman. He lives in London. Okay. And uh, Namir Kadar, you see here, he also worked at Rockefeller Chase Manhattan Bank in New York City. Uh, actually, the head of Chase Manhattan Bank for the International Division from like 1975 to 1991, Francis X. Stancard, uh, was hyper plugged into the Jesuits. Uh, went to Holy Cross, was on the Holy Cross numerous like four or five different uh, councils and committees uh, related to the Jesuit school Holy Cross Francis X Standard Stanford the Chase Manhattan International Banker was also Opus Day a night of Malta and he actually like toured China in the 70s because Chase Manhattan Bank was the first American bank to go into China so how fitting that you had a Jesuit trained Opus Day night of Malta banker tour China with David Rockefeller That's, like very fitting you see here the founder of, of Invest Corp see here um and this he got honorary degrees from jesuit fordham jesuit georgetown okay <laughs> are you kidding me and he's actually i'm pretty sure he was um where was this here yeah he owned well, he's here kadar owns villa surrounda and captain abs <laughs> and so he owns this massive mansion in the south of france on the Côte d'azur and guests that the, uh, the Jesuit trained Amir Kadara Serena have included George H. W. Bush. Oh, did you look at that, and his wife Barbara. <laughs> look at look at you can even see the Aleister Crowley in their uh, Wikipedia picture. Nicholas Soames has been there. Oh, Prince Charles, the great friend of Knight of, uh, Knight of Saint Gregory the Great, devout Catholic pedophile Jimmy Seville, has been to the Namir Kadar's French mansion retreat, and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. Has been there. So this guy, this guy's a powerful billionaire, the founder of Invest Corp, Iraqi, uh, I guess Turkish, British billionaire. But he went to the Jesuit school in Iraq. There he is, right here. The world's elite are going to this guy's house. They're speaking at the uh, World Economic Forum. <laughs> and she, it was Kath, Kathy O'Brien has accused George H. W. Bush of being a, a pedophile. Um, see, another billionaire we'll go to here is Nadmi. Achui, he's an Assyrian businessman, billionaire, founding president of the Anglo-Arab Organization and the founder chairman of General Mediterranean Holding, which is a financial holding company established in Luxembourg, founded by the Anglo-Iraqi businessman Nadmi Auchi, who is Jesuit trained. So here's his General Mediterranean Holding Company right here. Uh, interest uh, spans to over 120 corporations across uh, the Mediterranean and beyond. Good. Uh, what was his assets here? Groups consolidated assets over two billion euros. 
Okay, so there's another, you know, prominent billionaire net worth 1.5 U.S. billion. Nadmi Achi went to Jesuit College High School. Yeah, okay. and he actually says here he his uh born to an Assyrian family of the Chaldean Catholic Church. Okay. Um. Actually, and this guy was getting, yeah, this guy was, look here, Nadmi Achi was made a Knight of the Order of St. Sylvester by Pope John Paul II in 2004. Would you look at that? And that's from the, the website of the, the, I recommend you, uh, if you're on Wikipedia, it's a good way, uh, they cite everything well, you know, the direct hyperlinks to these sources. But then, you know, this is coming from the website of the Sacred Military Constantine Order of St. George. Um, he was also made a Knight Cross by, uh, he's given an Italian award. By the Duke, uh, by Prince Carlo, he was knighted in Britain. He was knighted in Lebanon. <laughs> Let's see, look at this. He's also knighted in Barbuda. This guy's a papal knight too, on top of being Jesuit trained. Actually, what was it? Um, oh, Association Members Archive. This looks like a good site here. Oh, they, <laughs> they can block that. We'll get a photo of this here. Papal knight. Uh, Jesuit trained at Baghdad College School. He's the founder of uh, General Mediterranean Holding. You can see, you know, the Jesuits are controlling, you know, the commerce in Iraq. It even says here, right there, Knight of St. Sylvester. <laughs> There's a photo of him right here. That's a Forbes article that looks like was done on him. He has a foundation, too, the Nad Nadmi Achu Foundation. Probably donating millions to the Catholic Church. Uh, let me see here. Let's see, here's another one. It's another interim minister of Iraq, Awad Alawi. See, I see the current vice president of Iraq. See, so the vice president of Iraq and the current prime minister. So, you, <laughs> the Jesuits are controlling Iraq. Really? You have the vice current vice president. Okay. Uh, you see a prominent Iraqi political uh, activist who lived in exile for almost 30 years. Alawi is a Shia Muslim who became a member of the Iraqi Iraq Interim Governing Council, which was established by the U.S.-led coalition authorities following the 2003 invasion of, invasion of Iraq. He became the first head of government since Saddam Hussein when the council dissolved on June 1st. He had the first head of government of Iraq when... Saddam's government is dissolved. It was trained by the Jesuits at the private Jesuit school that was set up by the American Jesuit Edmund Walsh SJ. Are you kidding me? Okay, but look at this. And he was named Prime Minister of the Iraqi Interim Government. His term as Prime Minister ended April 7, 2005, after the selection of the Islamic Dawah Party leader Ibrahim al Jafari uh, by the newly elected Transitional Iraqi Assembly. He was a former Ba'athist. Um, he helped find the national, Iraqi National Accord. His organization gave intelligence to uh, about weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist to MI6. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> hey, look, you're the current vice president of Iraq. Okay. Yeah, he was the 30th prime minister. He's the president of the governing council. He was preceded by the Jesuit train Ahmed Shalabi, uh, which I've covered earlier in this video. He's, look at this. Alawi is actually related to Jesuit Ahmed Chalabi. And remember, Ahmed Chalabi's family comes from like the longest reigning uh, like Iraqi uh, banking aristocrats. Uh, <laughs> it, it says on his Wikipedia, like his family controlled like the long like the British uh, bank in Iraq. Like, are you kidding me? Man, this is like so in your face. I, I wasn't aware of how open the uh, the Jesuits' control of Iraq was. But it's uh, it's really in your face. <laughs> you have the current vice president, vice president, and prime minister, Awad Alawi, prime minister, uh, uh, vice president, current prime minister, Abdul uh, Ali Abdul Mahdi. It's so like <laughs> it's really in your face. Current vice president and current prime minister. Um, look at this. So the uh, Jesuit trained Kanan Makia. Who would li who would later lobby the U.S. government to invade Iraq? Would you look at say the Jesuit trained uh, puppets in Iraq were telling the U.S. government the sword arm of the Catholic Church to come invade? Okay, but you see studies. Uh, or you see here he's an Iraqi British academic. He's published a few books. Um, 
studied architecture at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He's probably good. He's probably hanging out with Noam Chomsky there, a good fellow, good Jesuit coadjutor. You see here, he was a prominent member of the Iraqi opposition and a close friend of Jesuit trained Alan Shalabi and an influential proponent of the 2003 Iraq War. So you have all these influential people involved in the invasion on the Iraqi side seem to have been Jesuit trained. <laughs> um, interestingly, he became involved, identified as a Trotskyist with Christopher Hitchens and Stephen Schwartz. Um, it doesn't say on his Wikipedia page that he uh, went to the Jesuit school, but it's on the Jesuit school list. <laughs> he had enthusiastic support for the banker fraudster, Jesuit trained Ahmed Abdul Hadi Chalabi. After looking at that scandal more, the, the Jordan Bank scandal with him took place in uh, 2015 with Chalabi. I'll show you a picture of this guy here. Yet another Jesuit trained prominent guy in the Iraqi government. There he is right here. And a quote, and he's quote, and he's an quote academic. I wanted to say. <laughs> um, and I guarantee his quote academic studies were, oh yeah, Saddam has weapons of mass destruction. No doubt he has weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> okay, but we're going to uh, keep going through here on the list. Look at here. So, a current uh, chairman of the civil engineering at the University of Baghdad and a former cabinet minister of the construction and housing of Iraq. He's currently president of both the Iraq group of the a ASCE and the Iraqi Geotechnical Society. Jesuit trained Dr. Omar Farouk Salem al Damalji attended the Jesuit school in Baghdad. And again, this, the Jesuit school was founded by Edmund Walsh, SJ, and you had the Jesuit priest Robert Francis Taft, SJ, related to the presidential Taft family, um, was a lecturer at the Jesuit school in Baghdad. There he is right here. Looks like the photo of him. Jesuit train. <laughs> this guy's got current active roles in the, U uh, the Iraqi government. Those being current uh, or president of the Iraqi Geotechnical Society and the president of the Iraq group of ASCE and he's former cabinet minister of the construction housing department. Uh, the, the founder of the Department of Mathematics and the College of Science at the looks like the Secular University of Baghdad, Dr. Renard Shakuri is Jesuit trained. So, you know, they're controlling the academia in Iraq as well, you know. Obviously, they're controlling the Catholic academia, but the secular ac academia. Doesn't look like this guy has his photo on the internet. Oh. Yeah. Actually, I saw this here. One of the Iraq's former ambassadors to Canada from 2004 to 2010 uh, was Jesuit trained. At the Baghdad College, he also went to the Rockefeller subsidized London School of Economics. Um, let me see. He's part of the Kurdish freedom movement. Howard Ziad here. Iraqi ambassador. Yeah. Um, oh, it looks like that's him right here. Yep, there he is right there. You know, their influence is all over the place, you know. I think this is, you know, overwhelming. You know, so you can see, like, uh, you know, the Jesuits had their infrastructure in place in Iraq before uh, the war was launched in 2003. Here's a composer in Iraq here, Laura Sohanis Chobanian, an American Armenian composer of classical music, naturalized U.S. citizen. He served as composer. Professor of composition as well as composer in residence at Baldwin College. He attended the Jesuit Baghdad College, a high school administered by American Jesuits from Boston, Massachusetts. Um, yeah, and this guy's a big in the music. Actually, look at this. He also received an award for excellency from the Jesuit University of Loyola in New Orleans. <laughs> you look at that. And he's gotten all these awards from the Ohio Arts Council. Uh, Taught at the Oberlin Conservatory of Music, University of Akron, became the first uh, guitar division chairman of the American String Teachers Association. You know, so this guy's big in the music uh, scene, and he was uh, educated by 
the Jesuits, Loris Ohanis Chobanian, and the uh, the Jesuits gave him uh, an award at the Loyola University. It looks like um, he's done. Let me see. Here. He's done the uh, Toronto International Guitar Festival. Like, all these big festivals. Look at this. Yeah, and he's done. He's done, he's done uh, ceremonies at the Catholic University of Saint Thomas. Actually, that's another study. Like uh, I found the prominent Russian composer Igor Stravinsky, probably known as the most prominent composer of the uh, 20th century. He was made a Knight of Saint Sylvester in uh, 1963, and um, I found another really prominent Japanese uh, composer. Oh, it's, it's his name's not coming to me right now, but that's in my article that I did on Igor Stravinsky. You can find that there. Um, where was this here? Yeah, so this is pretty much all the list of the and, the, and again, guys, I'm, this is the pre-nationalization. So all these guys went to the Jesuit school when, uh, it was still a Jesuit school before it became, quote, secular. We see so another Alawi. This guy's probably related to the, the last Alawi. Ali Alawi, the minister of finance from 2005 to 2006, he was preceded by the Jesuit trained Abdul uh, Adil Abdul Mahdi, the current uh, Prime Minister, as Minister of Finance, and he's the Minister. Um, Ali Alawi was Minister of Defense from 2004, April 2004 to June 2004. The Prime Minister at the, uh, at the time of his appointment was Jesuit-trained Awad Alawi, who was probably related to him. He was also the Minister of Trade, succeeded by the Jesuit-trained Abdul 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 Mahdi. I probably the names. You just, like, this is overwhelming control. Like <laughs> you see, he, he went to the Jesuit uh, Baghdad College. Also went to MIT. Probably kicking it with Noam Chomsky there. <laughs> like, look at this. It's in your face. The control of Iraq. There's this Jesuit Baghdad school. Now, if you're joining late, I showed the pictures in the early uh, on in the video. Here's some more pictures of the old Jesuit school. There's see Edmund Walsh. Actually, there's an article from the Jesuit School of Foreign Service. That you can find here father edmund walsh in baghdad college so i recommend you guys read this right here um i'll link this in the description even you see edmund walsh literally founded this you know jesuit school of baghdad college that is just you know <laughs> in complete control of uh, the, uh, everyone you know the current prime minister of iraq uh the vice president numerous uh, finance ministers uh, deputy ministers, oil ministers. <laughs> um, yeah, like the school is very, very powerful here. There's a Jesuit Baghdad reunion, it looks like, in the USA Northeast province. <laughs> From 2009, a bunch of Jesuits there. Uh, oh, look at this. This is from a... Is that from a picture of the Jesuit Baghdad manual? They have Sanctuary Society on it? Oh, come on. No. <laughs> yeah, the Jesuits are, you know, the first two states to become sanctuary states had Jesuit trained governors, Jerry Brown in California and Dan Malloy in uh, Massachusetts or in Connecticut. Would you look at that? The Jes they're putting the, so the sanctuary, they, they were talking about, you know, creating sanctuary societies. And their uh, their looks like this. This looks like a manual that was released by the Jesuit College in Baghdad. Did you look at that? <laughs> you can see here, Father Cardi assists the mass servers. Um, geez, would you look at that? Sanctuary Society. You got to be effing kidding me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. And actually, there's an interesting 9/11 connection I found before I. Uh, I get going here. That was this guy here, Austin, Austin Holy Cross. This guy uh, went to Fordham and Holy Cross. His name was Austin J. Tobin, and he was the president of the Port Authority of New York uh, when the construction of the World Trade Center, the buildings that went down in the Jesuit controlled September 11th attacks. In, two, uh, in 2001, but this guy, literally Austin Joseph Tobin, was the head of the Port Authority for 30 years. But do you see here, um, Tobin is widely known for authorizing the construction of the original World Trade Center. And uh, okay, so let, let's look. Oh, Jesuit College of the Holy Cross and Jesuit Fordham. 
Okay, and they knocked down the World Trade Center like exactly 33 years from the uh, from like not exactly like to the day, but it was 33 years from the year that they built it. Clearly showing like the ritualistic nature of the event. Um, <laughs> literally, this guy like this guy's the head of the Port Authority for 30 years. Okay, I'll show you a picture of this guy here, Austin J. Tobin, Jesuit trained at the Holy Cross and uh, Fordham. And I'll show you the if you're not aware, just um. There's so many guys that Trump has put into his administration that are Jesuit puppets. Oh, they have the, they named the Austin J. Tobin Plaza named after him. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh, that looks like that's him right there. Jesuit trained at Fordham and Holy Cross. If you're not aware, this guy here is very interesting. There's so many Jesuit puppets in Trump's administration, but the current United States Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross. This guy's very guy's worked at uh, a Rothschild bank for like over 25 years also, Rothschild and Sons. He was in the Paradise Paper uh, leaks that came out in uh, 2017. But Wilbur Ross, what people don't talk about Wilbur Ross, and this guy's like a billionaire too, is that Wilbur Ross, look at, he drove two hours a day from New Jersey to attend the Jesuit Xavier High School in Manhattan. Now that that's, that's dedication, you know, to like to being a puppet. Like, whoa. <laughs> Who drives two hours a day to go to school? That's four hours in commuting. Two hours one way, two hours back. Like, are you serious? He literally spent four hours of his day in transport just so he could get educated by Jesuits at Xavier High School. And then he went to Yale, where he's probably, this guy's probably a member of one of the, like, the scroll, scroll and key or skull and bones or one of those societies. You see, he worked for Rothschild and Sons as well. And this guy, actually, Wilbur Ross, he, Trump probably put Ross as a Secretary of Commerce because Ross, actually, there was a, uh, an 80s Trump bank for Ross, uh, struck a deal with uh, that allowed Trump to keep control of his casinos. Um, or when Trump's casino went into trouble. I don't know if it was a bankruptcy, but Ross, you know, allowed Trump to keep his casino. Yeah, and this guy's just super, super plugged in into the financial world. Like, that's that's almost like an understatement. Uh, but, you know, Wilbur Ross, like, he drove two hours back and forth to go to Jesuit Xavier High School. He's the current Secretary of Commerce. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I didn't be for this one, YouTube. Uh, peace and love and uh, Namaste. I'll catch you on the next one. I got to get going here.